Just going to do a little quick video here about the, uh, got this thing about from WikiLeaks since I've been researching WikiLeaks. Uh, there's disinformation out there that says WikiLeaks, uh, Assange is, is opposed to 9-11 truthers. Uh, I don't, I think that's a bunch of BS because there, there are Wiki uh, things out there and, and there's uh, disinformation saying that he's a agent of Israel or a CIA agent. Uh, it's beginning to look more and more like this is just all a bunch of BS because uh, there are WikiLeaks uh, that expose 9-11 and there are ones that expose Israel. This is going to, I'm going to show you some here that are exposing Israel. This is from uh, Green Left. Okay, WikiLeaks Israel cable show U.S. Com complicity Jan Sunday, January 23rd, 2011. WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange said that over the next six months, WikiLeaks will be releasing more files related to Israel. There are 3,700 files related to Israel, and the source of 2,700 files is Israel. He told Al Jazeera on December 22nd, The Guardian. El Pais and Limonde have published only 2% of the files related to Israel due to the sensitive relationships between uh, Germany, France, and Israel. Let's see. see, it's not so much, I don't know, so much WikiLeaks that's censoring it. It's, um, you know, it, it, a lot of people don't know how much control uh, Israel has over much of the world press. He was rep responding to allegations in the Middle East media that WikiLeaks had made a deal with Israel authorities not to publish cables that would discredit Israel. WikiLeaks had no contacts with Israel, but I'm sure Mossad is following our activities closely, like Australia, Sweden, and the CIA event, Assange said. Many of the cables from the U.S. Embassy in Tel Aviv leaked so far consist of U.S. diplomats diligently repeating Israel's warnings on the impending nuclear threat from Iran. However, there are occasional comments suggesting that U.S. diplomats are aware these warnings are exaggerated and should be taken with a grain of salt. More significant is the revelation of how much deliberate planning was done, has gone into creating the humanitarian humanitarian catastrophe of the besieged Gaza Strip. In, 2000, in a 2008 cable, the plan to keep Gaza's 1.5 million people destitute is part of their overall embargo plan against Gaza. Israel officials have confirmed to U.S. Embassy economic officers on multiple occasions that they intend to keep the Gaza economy on the brink of collapse without quite pushing it over the edge. The cable confirms and Israel responsible for the 2010 assassination of Palestinian resistance activist Mohammed al mahaba uh, in Dubai. The use of use by Israeli assassins uh, passports cloned and identities stolen from citizens of Israel's allies meant uh, leaders of some of these countries, including then Australian Prime Minister Kevin Rudd, Felt, uh, or PM Ken Red, felt ob obliged to give Israel rare public re rebuke. Despite this uh, public posture, the cable reveals Israel retained appreciative remained Israel remained appreciative of Rudd's strong support for Israel in Australian politics, generally uncritical support. In contrast to what the U.S. government is says in public. In contrast to what the U.S. government says in public, the cables also show that the full that, that it is fully aware that the Israeli-Palestinian peace ta talks it pushes cannot succeed, as there is too wide a gap between the maximum offer any Israel prime minister could make and the minimum terms any Palestinian leader could accept without politi being politically survive. The official U.S. position has been for to halt the expansion of illegal. Israeli settlements on the West Bank, but another cable refers to a secret U.S.-Israeli accord to seek to continue the natural growth of Israeli settlements in the West Bank. Mm. The, the agree to which the, is, the pro-Israel bias is simply routine for U.S. diplomats is re reflected in the cable sent from Tel Aviv embassy during the three-week Israeli assault on Gaza that began in 2000. 
or December 27, 2008. The cables are full of poignant accounts of Israel suffering, such as burned, <laughs> burned dolls and destroyed children's toys in a company in an unoccupied kindergarten hit by a Palestinian rocket fire. I'm assuming that's probably was a false flag anyway, but that I don't have evidence of. While ignoring the 1,400 civilian Palestinians who were killed, and my, my point is many of them were children, I'm sure there were a lot of children's toys destroyed in Palestine, too. <laughs> Israel's going on about a, a couple of children's toys destroyed, but you know, Israel destroyed not just children's toys, but a lot of children in Palestine. Evidence of U.S. complicity in Israel's assault is provided by a cable from the U.S. Embassy in Tel Aviv five days before the carnage began. The cable told Washington, our recommendation is that the U.S. government start with putting the blame on Palestinian resistance organization Hamas for the illegitimacy of its rule in Gaza. WikiLeaks has also <clears throat> exposed several Western-supported Middle Eastern dictators who use fiery anti-Israel rhetoric in public while secretly collaborating with Israel. In July 2006, invading Israeli troops were found were fought to a standstill by resistance fighters uh, affiliated with Hezbollah and other Lebanese opposition parties. The Israeli invasion killed. 1,200 Lebanese civilians. Like other Arab governments, Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia publicly applauded this rare Israeli defeat. WikiLeaks cables, however, re reveal that in private discussions with U.S. diplomats, Saudi leaders took the opposite position. And, to, and you know, I've heard this before that uh, Saudi Arabia is just a puppet for the Saudi uh, royal family. Or, Israeli puppets, and this confirms that. In 2008, the, the Saudi regime even offered uh, to spearhead an Arab military forced invasion of Lebanon with U.S. naval and air support and crush Hezbollah. In 2000, as of March 2008, cable, cable also details advice given by Lebanese Defense Minister Elias Murr to U.S. diplomats on how Israel could be more successful next time in attacking his country, avoiding targeting Christian communities, which, as Murr's electoral base, was part of his advice. Okay. He expressed pr particular concern about how to prevent the Lebanese army from defending Lebanon against an Israeli attack. Hmm. The cable said Murr was especially concerned for members of the 1st and 8th Brigades in the Bekaz Valley, Murr thinks that these units will be cut off from headquarters support while Israel is conducting operations against Hezbollah. They will have to <clears throat> they will have to turn it to the local populace for food, water, etc. Since the populace is mainly Hezbollah supporters, Murr is afraid that these two units could be dragged into the fight. The ultimate disaster Murr hopes to avoid. The cable confirms that Egypt is willing is a willing partner in the siege of Gaza. That was before, obviously. Uh, they also confirm that the Palestinian Fatah organization, which controls the West Bank-based Palestinian Authority (PA), asked Israel intelligence to assist in, in during the 2007 attempt to overrun the elected Hamas government in Gaza. Some Fatah leaders went as far as asking Israel to attack Hamas. The cables have also indicated Israeli intelligence had a very good working relationship with the Fatah-run PA, and that it shared most of the intel all intelligence it collects with Israel. Such revelations can only fuel the anger of many Palestinians to see the Fatah-run PA as collaborating with Israel's opposition of Palestinians. The WikiLeaks cables reveal that both I Egypt and Fatah led BA were consulted by Israel before the 2008 assault on Gaza. Perhaps not surprising was the revelation that Egypt brokered peace talks between Fatah and Hamas were only held with the intention of isolating Hamas and legitimating Fatah.
So, uh, there are some WikiLeaks that apparently do expose things. And apparently there's a whole lot more that need to be um, exposed, but uh, WikiLeaks says they don't have the manpower to go through all these. So, that's why I guess they invite the general public to help out. So, anybody who wants to help WikiLeaks publish this and make it known to the world, these, these leaks and make them known to the world, is more than welcome to do so. If some of you are asking, well, what you can do to help in this fight, um, this is one thing you can do, is to help WikiLeaks expose these leaks.